Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep abreast of all future content I'll be creating in the future. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, my name is Rahul Nirmal. In today's video, I will show you how you can manage your Google Android smartphone in case it's been lost, stolen, or simply misplaced by using Google's own Find My Device service, which can be accessed through any web browser. As you may know, every Google Android smartphone is tied to a Google account. When you go to Google's Find My Device website, you log in with your Google accounts, username, and password. Once you're logged into the website, there are three functions you can perform, which I'll explain in this video. The first function being allowing your Google Android smartphone to emit a loud chime. The second feature being to remotely lock your smartphone and leave a custom text message and a contact phone number. And finally, number three, to remotely wipe your phone to factory settings. For the purposes of this video, I'll be using two Google Android smartphones, a Samsung Galaxy S21 and an LG Stylo 5. And I'll also be using my web browser on my Windows 10 home computer. So without further ado, let's get over to my PC and get started. All right, I'm at my Windows 10 desktop and I'm gonna begin by opening up my web browser and navigating to android.com slash find. Once there, I'm prompted to enter in my Google account that's attached to my smartphone and I'll enter that and my password now and log into my Google account. Once I'm logged in, Google Find My Device immediately opens up and when I zoom out the map slightly, that green icon indicates where my phone is and that is indeed accurate. It's located at my home address and it's showing the phone that's most current on my Google account, which is the Galaxy S21 by Samsung and even tells me the remaining battery level. The first option we have available to us is play sound. You'd use this option if you know the phone is within your general area, but you don't know its exact location. For instance, if you lost it within the cushions of the couch in your living room. So when you select this, it'll play a loud audible sound for five minutes, even if set to silent mode. So immediately when I select this, my smartphone next to me is playing a loud audible tone. If I want to stop it, I can either click the stop ringing button or the power key on my smartphone. I'll just click on stop ringing button here and it stops. The second option available is secure device. You would use this option if your phone has been lost or stolen. And once I select this, when you select that, you're allowed to put in a optional recovery message and phone number. So for instance, I've typed here, if lost, please call below and put this phone number. When you select secure device, your smartphone will lock itself and you'll see a screen that looks just like this. And so whomever finds that phone will see that recovery message and only be able to call the phone number that you specified. That person won't be able to call any other phone numbers, nor will he be able to unlock your phone and look at your apps, data, so on and so forth. The final option available to us is erase device. What this will do is perform a factory data reset on your smartphone. You would use this option if your phone is lost or stolen and you believe you have no chance of recovering it. Do keep in mind this will only wipe the internal memory of your smartphone. If it has a micro SD memory card inside of it, this option will not erase any data on that memory card. Let me select this option. And when I do, it does remind us that all data will be permanently erased and also, after it's been wiped, we won't be able to use Google's Find My Device service to locate it. Let me click on Erase Device. I'm prompted again to log into the Google account that's attached to the smartphone. So I'm going to re-enter in my password. And when I do that, I'm reminded one last time if I want to permanently erase my smartphone. I do not in my case, so I'll just hit the cancel button. Now I'll show you how Google's Find My Phone service works with another Android smartphone in the same household. So that smartphone is attached to a different Google account, which I'm just going to enter now. I'm just going to sign in with that. Now that I'm logged in, I'm just going to go into the android.com slash find. 
okay? And the smartphone attached to this Google account is an LG Stylo 5 smartphone. And it's attempting to contact that device right now. Okay, and my smartphone's general location has been found and it's being shown on the map here, just like it was on my own personal Android smartphone, my Samsung Galaxy S21. I'll also try the same three options here as I did on my phone. First thing to do is play sound. You can hear the loud sound being played as the phone is right next to me at this moment. I'll click on stop ringing now. So again, that option is very useful if you know the smartphone's in the general area, but you can't find it. For example, it's uh, been hidden underneath a mattress or couch cushions. Next thing I'll try is secure device again. So again, I'm prompted to enter in an optional recovery message and phone number. So I've just written call me at, and then this phone number. And when I click on secure device, I just heard a little chime there, and the phone now has a lock screen that says call me at, and that phone number. And so whoever finds my phone will only be able to call that number I specified. That person won't be able to call any other number nor do any other functions on the phone. So then the last step is erase device. Again, if I lose the phone and I know there's no chance of me getting it back. So I get the same warning as before. If I click on erase device, I'm prompted again to re-enter the password for this Google account attached to that LG Stylo phone. And when I confirm, I get one final message confirming do I want to permanently erase this smartphone. And again, I do not because I have it right next to me, so I'll just hit cancel. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the content, please hit the like button down below. I'd also love to hear any of your comments, feedbacks, and suggestions in the comments section below. Also, if you could please Share this video with all of your friends and family through social networks such as Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. I'd greatly appreciate it. And finally, please also hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'll be creating more content like this in the future. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.